The following program is brought to you in living color on NBC. Edie Adams, Don Adams, Raymond Burr, Charlie Weaver, <laughs> Abby Dalton, Wally Cox, Rose Marie, Milton Burrow, and Buddy Hackett, all in the Hollywood Square. Here is the master of the Hollywood Squares, Peter Marshall. Well, thank you, Kenny Williams. Hi there. Good evening, everybody. Hello, and welcome to the Hollywood Squares Nighttime Edition. And hello, stars. Hello, oh, Peter. 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 Oh, Peter. 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 How's your Marshall? Pretty good, <laughs> Walter. Thank you. You're uh, welcome. Say, we have all of our daytime regulars this evening, and that's kind of nice, along with Raymond Burr, who's back with us, and Buddy Hackett, and uh, Don Adams, Edie Adams, and... Uh, Milton Berle, and it should be a, a good evening, I hope so. Anyway, you know, our play, uh, you know our stars, these are the players. First of all, our Miss Circle for this evening is Loretta Hess, who is a first grade teacher who is engaged to be married in June. Welcome to Hollywood Squares. Thank you. Nice to be here. Nice to have you with us. This gentleman over here is our Mr. X. It is Dean, I believe it's Dadisman. Dadisman's correct. And you are a display advertising salesman, right, sir? Right. And mm -hmm. you are the father of two boys and grandfather of three girls. Three girls. You finally got your girls, huh? I sure do. Very good, and good luck on our show, sir. Thank you. All right. Thank you. We'll play the first round of Hollywood Squares right after this. A new viewer to Hollywood Squares. The object for our two players is to get three stars in a row, either across, up, and down, or diagonally. It's up to them to figure out if the star is giving a correct answer and making one up. That's how they get the squares. Every game is worth $300. In addition, in our first two games, we play for the secret square. So if one of our contestants picks the secret square, and it is correct, this is the prize they will get in round one. Kenny, tell them about it. Via TWA, the all-jet airline, enjoy fabulous Royal Ambassador service. Your choice of seven entrees, cooked in flight, widescreen color movies, eight channels of stereo music. You're up, up, and away, TWA. We'll fly you and a companion to exciting Tokyo and Hong Kong for a trip of your lifetime. Okay, we'll show the home on our secret square for round one. Uh, who won the toss? I believe uh, Dean did, didn't I won the, I won the toss. Okay, well then, uh, you'll pick a star. To whom are you going? Well, I think that Edie Adams is the secret square. She might be this uh, evening. No, she isn't. But we have a delightful question for you, Edie. John Lennon and Paul McCartney write most of these songs the Beatles make famous. Which one usually writes the music? Uh, they usually ad-lib the words, but and they've been writing in two keys lately. Mr. McCartney writes the music. I think that's correct. Uh, Lennon is the lyricist, Paul McCartney the music, and X gets the square, and a very good start, isn't it? Okay, Lennon. Right. Hey, hey, I think I'll go with Rose Marie. Okay. Uh, Ro. Yes, dear. Uh, when someone refers to the famous steppes of Russia, do they mean the plains, the mountains, or the rugged sea coast? The steppes? Mm-hmm. Uh, that would be uh, uh, the plains. I'll agree. The plains or prairies. Circle gets the square. No, I guess I'll have a Back you, then. <laughs> okay. I did all right with the girls. I'm going to go with Abby Dog. All right. Peeking through the fluff. <laughs> According to experts, which marriages are the happiest? The ones where the personality traits of the two partners are very similar or very different? Well, I think that they should have things in common, yes. I think where, they're, where they have the most things in common, the, that, that makes the most successful marriage. I think she's absolutely right. Peter. Similar. Opposites don't get along in a marriage. No. NX gets the square. Get All right. Let's take a look. I'm going to block with Buddy Hackett. With Buddy Hackett right You're in the middle. Block so block with Buddy Hackett. Right. <laughs> block, Dad. It's your block. Couldn't shape. say I'm going to stop with Buddy. No, I got a block like that big blockhead Hulk of a youth is very nice. To Does pick. the Medicare program cover pregnancy? Yes Does or no. Does the Medicare program cover pregnancy? It has. It does not provide for the incept of it. However, <laughs> it will help you out at the finish. Uh, what is your answer, buddy? Yes or no? I answered that it will take care of the confinement. 
I need a yes or a no. Yes. Oh, uh, I disagree. No, you must be over 65 to be eligible for a marriage. <laughs> Circle gets the block. <laughs> Dinky. <laughs> Sherry's mother had a baby. They took care of everything. <laughs> All right, Dean. All right, Raymond Burr this Couldn't time. Could be our secret square yeah. this evening? No. I say Stan Kenton is one of the great names in the world of music. We all know that. But what instrument does he play? Well, there are several orchestra leaders noted for clarinet and saxophone. And um, I believe it would be probably black and whites, the 88s, the piano. I think he's right. He is right. X yeah. gets the square. Very, very right. good. Hi, John. <laughs> All right, brother. Charlie. Yeah. Charlie. All right, honey. Big <laughs> Chuck. I'm ready. According to are... mythology. Mythology. Mm -hmm. Who was the only one who could catch and tame a wild unicorn? Ephraim Zimbalus Jr. <laughs> <laughs> No, I was just making a fool of myself. Yes, you were. <laughs> I think if I remember my Greek mythology, it was an innocent young girl, I believe. She's the only one to grab a unicorn. Right or wrong? I'll agree. A innocent young girl. Put the <laughs> circle right there. Okay, Dean. Uh, uh, secret square game. I believe Milton Berle is a secret square. <laughs> you think Milton? Milton is a secret square. Milton, yeah. this is for a trip for two to Tokyo and Hong Kong via TWA. Remember, only you can win if you're wrong. The prize will go over to our next Secret Square game. This is also for the block. Very important to Dean over here. Yeah. <laughs> One American president is quoted as saying, I'm always pressed for time. An hour late and a dollar short. Was it Lyndon B. Johnson, U.S. Grant, or Abraham Lincoln? Um, Grant. Wrong. Johnson, Lyndon B. X gets the square. <laughs> You've won. Congratulations to you. Thank you. Thank you. You, you mean, uh, for two to Tokyo and Hong Kong via Peter, TWA. Yes, sir. You mean his answer was for the birds, right? <laughs> <laughs> All right, we'll accept that, Milton. <laughs> Say, we'll play another Secret Square uh, game in our next game. Okay, let's uh, continue with this one. Would you believe Don Adams? Oh, hi, Don. <laughs> if you were extremely familiar with Sheng Fu, what would you be able to do? Get my laundry done a lot cheaper. <laughs> no, uh, Ching Fu, yes. That would be uh, he, a disciple of... Uh, of the great Chinese philosopher, uh, I think that was Jake LaMotta. No. <laughs> Confucius, a disciple of Confucius, a philosopher, a Chinese philosopher, Ching Fu. Sounds good. It does sound good, doesn't it? But it's wrong. No, it, yeah. <laughs> it's defend yourself. It's the Chinese hand-to-hand -hand combat, which you are very adept at, I might add, John. X does not I, get the square. We'll give you three in a row. The third one you must always earn yourself. So, Dean? This is a separate game, right? Uh, this is the same game. You same have won the game. secret square in the game, but oh. this is for $300. This is for $300, and Wally Cox. Uh, all right, we'll go up there to Wally. Uh, you could have won with Don, but I think maybe you could possibly win. You'll win with uh, Wally, too. She's no possible way for three in a row. Listen carefully. In the movie, The Brotherhood, about big league gangsters, actor Alex Cord gets to kiss his co-star in a much publicized scene. Who is his co-star? Well, I hate to tell you this, but it's William Holden. <laughs> I think he threw me, but I'm going to say it's right. I hope Bill's not upset. It's Kirk Douglas. <laughs> <laughs> it is Kirk Douglas. Uh, you agreed with him. Uh, the kiss is the mafia kiss of death done on the lips. They don't dance or anything like that. Circle gets the square. Very, very good break for Loretta Hess over here. All right, young lady. Don Adams. This is for the win. $300, Don. In which of Shakespeare's plays does a character say, speak 
the speech I pray you as I pronounced it to you, trippingly on the tongue. Is it Hamlet, Othello, or Taming of the Shrew? Taming of the Shrew. I agree. Hamlet oh. says it to the players. Oh. Oh. X does not get the square. We give you three in a row. The third one you have another chance for. Back to Don. It's the only uh, space left open here, uh, Dean. Sorry Don. about that. <laughs> I'm real happy. Ladies the world around are buying a new product that got rid of that bulging enemy, the garter belt. What's the new invention to keep your nylons up? Would you believe thumbtacks? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, to keep uh, your nylons up, yes. Uh, I would say glue. And I would say he's wrong. You would? <laughs> it's, it's in, on a roll-on app. It's glue. Circle gets the, does not get the square. I happen to wear nylons. Oh, is that it? <laughs> Young lady, you're back in One it. One more time, One Don. One more time, Don. <laughs> Among his many other accomplishments, Julius Caesar invented a, sh a sport that is still practiced in many parts of the world today. What sport? Julius Caesar mm -hmm. invented a sport. Yes, he did. Do you believe nobody may win tonight? <laughs> Just thinks what would have happened if he showed up me, early. Right? I happen to know the sport that Julius Caesar invented, uh, harness racing. That's they laughed in the audience. Think about it. I'll disagree. You'll disagree? With all the chariot races, it really makes sense that it would be harness racing. I disagree. It's bullfighting. You have the circle and $300. <laughs> Congratulations, Loretta has our first grade teacher. Say, by the way, you have $300, and this is very important because the, the player who has the most cash during the show gets a special bonus prize. You'll see that later. Now let's begin round two. This is the prize for another big special uh, secret square. So, Kenny Williams, show the uh, audience what uh, they could possibly win our player. A new 1968 Pontiac Firebird. Enjoy wide tracking, the great American sport in this new 68 Pontiac Firebird convertible where beauty, power, and thrilling performance are yours to command. Let's show our home audience the secret square for that 1968 Pontiac Firebird. We'll get back to our game in just a second with more of Hollywood Squares right after this word. It's the second game of this, uh, of this evening. Loretta Hess, Miss Circle, you have $300. You're going for a 68 okay. Pontiac Firebird. Okay, how about Milton Berle? How about Milton Berle? Yeah, how about him? <laughs> That's Ruth. Who is the <laughs> biblical character who what? is remembered... Who is the biblical character who is remembered for her devotion to her mother-in-law? <laughs> you picked a good question for me. Um, it's got to be my wife's name. Ruth? I disagree. Do you know something? I picked the question up. I heard you say Ruth. I looked at the answer. It is Ruth. You Kidding. were talking about your wife. That's the, it is Ruth. And X gets the square. A big break for you, Dean. Beautiful. Beautiful. Interesting. All right. Hi. You're still going to try for the secret square. Rosemary. Okay. Hi, Ro. Hello. Hello. No, I'm sorry. No bells. Uh, Just burrows. If you were to take a stroll through Chapultepec Park, what city would you be in? I'm sorry, Peter, would you repeat that, please? Yes. If you were to take a stroll through Chapultepec Park, oh. I got over it. Well, I didn't think I could do it two in a row. What city would you be in? Chapultepec. 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 Ah, Chapultepec. Chapultepec. Uh, that, I, I, I think, would be uh, Mexico City. I think she's correct. She is correct. Yeah. It's Mexico City. Yeah. Loretta. Uh, Wally. Gonna block with Wally Cox, as you say? He's not a secret square, but it's important to this young lady. When a honeybee gets back to the hive, how does he tell the others about the flowers he's discovered? <laughs> well, he has choose the use of language, preferring that of the terpsichore. He wails, dances. He wails? Nothing new, same old, same old waltz. <laughs> he dances. Dan dances. Sounds good. It does sound good, doesn't it? He dances for them. Then they know how far away the flowers are. It's an interpretive dance. Circle gets the block. <laughs> All right, Dean. He wails. Uh, I did very well. I'm going to go with Edie Adams. Edie Adams could be our... <laughs> That's it. <laughs> 
Edie, you are the secret square. It's for a 1968 Pontiac Firebird convertible. Wow. Oh, gee. Now, remember, only you can win. <laughs> Hang on. I believe uh, Abby was sitting right there yesterday. That's uh, rather, uh, last, last week. Rather, last week or yes. whatever it is. Yes. Just seems One like yesterday. You little <laughs> devil in your fluff. <laughs> One of the shortest lived programs on TV was called You're in the Picture. After one performance, the star returned to explain the disaster and interview, and he interviewed a chimpanzee. It didn't hurt the star's career, though. He is still very big. Please, no help. Who is he? Dick Van Dyke, Jackie Gleason, or Milton Berle? Uh, wait, 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 the beginning of that, once more. The short, one of the shortest lived programs on TV was called You're in the Picture. After one performance, the star returned to explain that he just didn't like the show, and he interviewed a chimpanzee or something, and he didn't hurt the star's career, though. He's still very big. Who is he? Dick Van Dyke, Jackie Gleason, or Milton Berle? Dick Van Dyke? For a 1968? 1968. Firebird. I think she's right. Am I wrong? <laughs> Dean, you're wrong. Jackie oh, Gleason. Gleason. Jackie Gleason. Oh. Jackie Gleason. Circle gets I'm the blue. Oh, I'm sorry. All right, but you didn't win the Firebird, but we're going to let you see the bee dance. Okay. <laughs> the secret square was not won. Loretta Hess, your turn, young lady. Oh, I was pretty lucky with Don. Okay, one more Don time. Don Adams, mm -hmm. okie doke. Uh, there are many ways of getting a haircut, but there's an exotic method called the taper method. What's the taper method? All around the head. <laughs> I think the tapering method might be using thinning shears instead of a straight scissor. The circle? I agree. The hair is burned off. A lighted taper is moved rapidly near the hair while combing so that the hair is singed That's what the I proper said. length. Yeah. X gets the square. <laughs> Dave, you're looking for your uh, first cash uh, prize. Yeah, I need, a, I need a cash prize. All right. Yeah. Are you playing the game? Uh, let's go with Charlie. Charlie Weaver, yeah. all right. In February, this lady will take her fourth husband, a lawyer named Curtis Keller. His five children and her three children will be at the wedding, despite what Amy Vanderbilt says about never inviting one's children to one's future weddings. Who's the lady? Elsie Crack. <laughs> <laughs> Mount Ida. Uh, no, that lady is... Uh, <laughs> and the kids are very old, you know. Uh, they're <laughs> getting along, as we say, yeah. Uh, Vivian Vance. Vivian Vance, right or wrong? Wrong. It's Amy Vanderbilt. Uh, Amy? <laughs> Amy is she the, finally did. She doesn't read what she writes. <laughs> X gets the square. Loretta. Uh, block with Buddy Hackett. Hey, you're a block yeah, again, block. buddy. <laughs> if you Sorry. attended Texas Christian University, what city would you be pursuing your education in? <laughs> I'd be in a lot of cities because my wife wouldn't let me back in the house, I know that. <laughs> Texas Christian, a very fine university, and they have a very fine team. I don't know which team it is, but <laughs> that's in Fort Worth, Texas. I agree. You have the block. Fort Worth. Put the circle right there. <laughs> Dean. Uh, Raymond Burr. Raymond Burr mm -hmm. to win. Raymond, this is for $300. If you stood on the beach in Yugoslavia and looked straight across the Adriatic Sea, what country would you be staring at? Well, it would be depend probably on which part of the beach. And if it were a cove or a bay, because there are possibilities of looking at several countries. But if you were looking west, it would be Italy. I think that's wrong. No, that is right. That right. Yes, that is right. <laughs> Circle gets the square, and uh, I believe, uh, no, not yet. Not yet. Not, not yet. Okay. Uh, you'll have to say it. I can't. Loretta. It's all up to you, Abby. Abby, can You're you... are forced to come to you. In what, continent are, <laughs> in what continent are the Andes Mountains? I happen to know that. Uh, there's a great skiing uh, resort there, Portofino. Uh, which is in someplace else. Uh, 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 that's the, uh, uh, it's called, well, it, this is North America, the South America. <laughs> I agree. <laughs> <laughs> Do you agree with South? Well, yes, she's right, so Giggly. Beautiful. Put the circle there. You have $600. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I tell you.
Congratulations, Loretta. Six hundred dollars. See, by the way, let us clear the board. We'll start another game here. If the show should end in the middle of this game or uh, any game, we give our players fifty dollars for each square they have on the board, which is very important because it will count toward their cash total and the big bonus prize at the end of the show. Who will start this round, Mr. X? Steve, pick a star. Raymond Burr. Uh, on New Year's Day, 1801, the United Kingdom came into being when what two countries merged into one? 1801, the United Kingdom came into being, well, that would very likely be Scotland and England. Correct. England and Ireland, Aaron <gasps> Gobra. Circle Just gets the ruined. square. Loretta. <laughs> Charlie. Yes. <laughs> Ho Tai, the happy huh? Buddha. Ho Tai. Hotai, yeah. The Happy Buddha is an item found in almost every gift shop. The legend is he brings happiness to homes. How does one make his magic work? Just like you make the magic work with Buddy Hackett. You rub his tummy. You rub his tummy. <laughs> How do you feel about that? Right. It is rub his tummy. I don't know about Buddy, but it sure works with Hotai. Yeah. I put the circle right there. Okay, Dean. Uh, Don Adams. Don block. Adams to block from yeah. left to right. Say, around the turn of the century, a lady named Margaret Sanger was arrested because she crusaded for a very new and revolutionary idea. What was it? The turn of the century, that would be uh, prohibition. That is wrong. Planned parenthood. Or birth control. Same thing. He did not agree with you. <laughs> <laughs> the right there. Well, it's sort of prohibition, isn't it? <laughs> okay, well, Abby Dalton. Abby Dalton, all right. It was Portillo. <laughs> Excuse me, <laughs> Say, if someone said to you, Abby, oh, I'll bet you... Get listening, Abby? Yes. Okay. Really if sorry. someone said to you, Abby, I'll bet you swim like a mink, would that mean you were a very good swimmer or a very bad swimmer? <laughs> a mink? A mink coat? No, a mink, a little mink, the animal. Oh, these feathers made me think I was Jojo. Uh, a mink, I would imagine, swims because most things do. So you say uh, you would be a very good swimmer? No. Uh, fair swimmer. Well, you have to say good or bad? Bad. I agree. Minks are very great swimmers. <laughs> right. <laughs> Two. Put the X right there. Break right for you, Dean? Yes, it is. Oh, dear. Okay. Uh, Edie Adams. Edie Adams, all righty. Try it. Uh, what is the capital city of Australia? Uh, that's that, that, that place you never think it is. Uh, 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 Canberra. Edie, I believe you're right. I'll bet you everybody else thought it was Sydney. It is Canberra. Very good, Edie. And X gets to square. And we'll be back with more on Hollywood Square in a moment. Don't go away. Well, uh, Dean, you have that secret square trip to the Orient for $1,520. Wonderful. You have $150 in cash. But guess what? She is the winner because the cash total determines who gets that bonus prize. Here's what you've won. Two games, $600. Uh, and another $100 in our last game for a total of $700. You are the big winner, cash-wise, and here is your bonus prize. Kenny, would you tell Loretta Hess all about it? It's a big-screen Admiral Color television stereo theater and contemporary walnut veneer cabinet, 23-inch picture, automatic tuning and instant play, solid-state FM, AM tuner, and six speakers, a quality product from Admiral. Say uh, thank you, stars, for making this a delightful evening for me. And don't miss the Hollywood Squares next Friday night. And daytime at 11.30 Eastern Time. 10.30 Central Time. Say, Dean, I congratulate you, uh, congratulate you again. Have a good trip, will you? Thank you so much, Peter. Don't buy any Thank suits so in Hong Kong because the sleeves fall off. Do they? <laughs> Say, buddy, Don, Edie, Milton Rowe, Wally, Abby, Charlie, Raymond, it's a pleasure having you on the show this, uh, this Friday night. Loretta, uh, congratulations Thank to you. you. And uh, join us next Friday here on Hollywood Squares. Peter Marshall saying have a good weekend. Goodbye, everybody. Thank you. Come on, Pete. Come on, buddy. For each of our party contestants, we have three pieces of Nim Samsonite silhouette luggage and the classic attache case from the Samsonite Corporation of Denver, Colorado, featuring hidden locks, strong light magnesium frames, and a scuff-resistant finish. And as a memento of the show, a home version of the Hollywood Squares game. Our reference source for questions and answers is the 20-volume 1968 edition of the World Book Encyclopedia containing more than 12,000 pages and representing the work of 2,500 consultants and contributors. A Jackson Pollock painting once sold for $10.5 million.
A Picasso self-portrait was bought for over $43 million. A Japanese businessman paid $82.5 million for a Van Gogh. Tim drew this and won five grand. It pays to be an artist. Win, lose, or draw weekdays at 11.30 a.m. Eastern, only on Game Show Network. This program was pre-recorded.